Alright, so in this video we're going to create the hinges, this hinges we're seeing over here and on the hood and I'm pretty sure we have some also on the back. So let's get started on this, but before we actually do anything, we need to create the hole for the hinge on the hood. So we're going to take this hood and let's go over to the top view real quick. So judging by the reference image, I think we have the hinge right about this area over here. So all I'm going to do is to go into edit mode of the hood. I think we've already applied the solidify on this, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Actually, it might actually be a lot of a problem because, um, let me see. Let's go over to the top view and maybe we should put it on this one instead. Maybe we should put it on this one instead. So let me take a look at that one. Yeah, let's put it on that one. Let's go over to the top view and I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here and I'm going to move it to about here and right click let me bring it back a little bit more I'm gonna press G twice and move it to about here and let me just take a look at the size of the hinge uh, I think that is about good yeah yeah so that is about good so let's go over to the top view and here's what we're gonna do now so sorry I'm gonna press Control and R through here and I'm gonna add in two vertices I mean two edge loops through there and let's make sure that it didn't cause any problems, which it didn't. So, all I'm going to do now is to go to the top view. And let me see. We're just going to take, we're just going to, let's use the knife tool in this case, alright? So, we're going to press K to activate the knife tool. And we're going to click in here. Press Z after you click. So that it cuts all the way through and I'm going to cut that all the way to this point and then press E and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Click and cut it all the way to here and press E and then just press space to confirm the cut like that. So let's go over to the top view and what I want to do now is to take this two and press J and I'm going to take this two and press J. So with that then I'm going to take all of this, press X and dissolve the edges and I'm going to take all of this, press X and dissolve the edges like that so yeah that is coming out pretty neatly uh, all that I'm going to do now is to select these faces from here from I think here all the way to the bottom so just hold on control and click on that face there to select all of those faces like that and I'm going to press X to delete the faces like that and we have a nice hinge area coming out about the same size as that one so all I'm going to do now is to go into is to go into edit mode and I think we need yeah so let's just press K and then knife this from here to there and press E and then knife it from here to there as well and press space to confirm it just to give us that nice uh, good uh, sharpness on those caps so with that then we're going to take the edges from here all the way to here and we're going to press E and then Z and pull this down in the z-axis to about this point and just zoom in to that area real quick and let me just pull it up a little bit more I want to press E and then Z again and then pull this down to there G and then Z pull it down to there now let's go to vertex select mode and I want to take this vertex and that one press alt and M and choose at last I want to do the same thing with this alt and M choose at last like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Take these two, make sure that is the last element, Alt and M, choose at last. And make sure this is the last element, Alt and M, and choose at last. So that should give us that gap that we need for the hinge hole, I mean, to be the hinge hole. And it's looking good. So now let's get on and create the uh, hinge itself now. So I'm going to go into side view real quick. And I'm going to click right here, like this. Well, let me just press shift and S and choose Kessel to world origin. Let's add in a cylinder. Or no, let's add in a circle. Alright. So I'm gonna change the uh the number of vertices for the circle to twelve, I think. So let's just change it down to twelve like that. And let's rotate this in the Y axis by ninety degrees. Get onto the side and let's scale this down. Let's press G and move it up here in edit mode. Okay, go into edit mode before you press G. And move it up to this point let me pull it in the x-axis all the way here and let's scale this down all right to about the size of the hinge we just scale it down some more 
So I have an image right here you can see. So let me just get into wireframe. I'm just gonna scale this down. Oh I think it's a little bit bigger than the hinge. I mean the hole that we have going on there. So let's make it about the size that we see in the reference image. So that is about here. And then with that then we're just gonna pull it in the X axis all the way to about the center which is here. Nice. So I'm just getting to what frame. I want to pull this back to here. Let me pull him closer. I don't know if that is too big, but it kind of looks too big for me. So I want to scale it down some more. Let me just get to side view. Get into what frame. I'm just going to scale it down some more to about here. And let's pull this back some more to about there. Let me just pull it back a little bit more. Nice. To about there just a little bit more outside and that should be good that should be good let me just scale it up a little bit all right let's get onto the side and let me pull this up to here i want to press e and then z and pull this down to there like that all right so let's select everything press shift and enter recalculate the normals and let's add in the subdivision surface at level one should be good click on object and select shade smooth like that. Alright, so everything is already starting to come out nicely. So let's get on to the side and I'm gonna add in let me see. Okay, so let's add in three, but first let's select edge select mode and let's add in the three so that we can deselect this, deselect that, and dissolve the one in the middle. Like that. So all I'm gonna do now is to take these two. Oh let's just leave it there for now. And let's go over here. Let's take all of this. And let's press F on both sides. So take both of them and press F, and I want to press I to insert the faces to about here, and then let's press, let's change the pivot in point to boundary box, and let me see, I think the orientation is on global, so I'm going to press E, S, and then Z, and then scale it in the Z axis, so you can see what I did there, I just scale it a little bit in the Z axis, or undo that undo that and let's here's what we're going to do instead um let's insert another space in it okay just a tiny one like that to about this point like this and i don't know if that is enough let's insert it again to about here like that and i'm going to press ctrl and r3 here let's add in let's add in five loop cuts deselect this Oh no, let's add in seven. Seven loop cuts. Deselect this and dissolve the rest. So remember, add in the exact same seven on the one below. Deselect this and dissolve the rest. And let's put one more. I don't know. Let's put one more in the middle here of each of them. Like that. And we're gonna go over here. Let's put one more on these sides as well. Like that. I'm gonna put one or two. I don't know. Just one. Like this, let's try it. Let's start with one. Let's try with one and see what happens. So add one. Make sure that one is selected. Go over to the top and select this one as well. And then just press S. I don't know, maybe S and then Z. And scale it into about, let me see, S and then Z. Scale it into about this point right here. Now all we have to do is to take this one and take all of these face over here as well. Let's just press I to set the face some more to about this point and then insert it again one more time like that and just press ctrl and r through here add one here like that let's do the same thing down here let's add one here like that so yeah that is looking great now i'm going to take all of these and that one let's get onto the side i want to press ctrl and b to bevel this just a little bit like like that i'm just bring it up some more and let's add in about let's add in three in the middle so let's scale this up and let me just zoom in over here all right and i think that is quite good i think oh no undo that let's do that again so just bevel it drop the amount down to only one like this oh you know what let's do this first press ctrl and b again let's bevel this to and let's add in let's add into about this point like that all right 
and now let's take the one in the middle of each of them again and again let's press control and B let's press control and B and let's bevel this again now I'm going to leave one in the middle like that and I'm going to take that one on both sides like that now I'm going to press S and then shift in and Z and then let's scale this in to some amount let me get into wireframe scale it again shift in and Z scale it down to about there now all that we're going to do is to add in let me see supporting edge loops add one here add one there or maybe I should I should add it below it like over here instead so just add it in and pull it over here add one in and pull it over here Add one in, pull it over here, and add the final one in, pull it over there. And that should look great. That should look like a nice hinge. Now all that we have to do is to add in that bar that extends it inside the um the body of the of the car. So let me take all of this and let's see if we can move it in the X axis a little bit more. I think it goes all the way through. So let's take everything, press S, shift in and Z, and let's kill it up to about this point nice now let's move it in the x-axis I want to move it in the y a little bit more I'm gonna move it in the y a little bit more I want to move it in the x some more alright so I think that is looking quite good so all that we have to do now is to add in that final piece that is the one that goes from here to the inside and I'm gonna do that by taking let me see let me take these vertices here that is from here to there I want to take the ones below as well from here to there I want to press shift and ND to duplicate it like that I want to press space and type in bridge to select bridge edge loops like that I want to press E and then X and then extrude this in the X axis press S and then X and type in 0 I want to press X to delete the faces and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so I want to select all of this by pressing L, deselect this one, press X, and delete the faces as well. I want to take all of this, let's take everything, and then scale it in the Z axis a little bit like that. Now let's take all of this and pull it inside to this point, and let's add in, let's go to edge select mode, and let's add in about 40 or 50, 50 number of cuts, and let's deselect the first two. On both top and bottom, and dissolve the rest. <coughs> I'm gonna do the same thing here. Add in the exact same 50. Dissolve the top and bottom on both sides, and dissolve the rest of the edges like that. So that should look quite good on the inside, as you can see. All right, it's looking good. So all that I'm gonna do now is to take this one. Let's go into edit mode. We wanna take everything and let me see. Let me get onto the side and let's press Shift and D and then press Z to move it down to about this point. Let's position it very nicely so it follows it quite good. I'm going to move this in. I want to rotate it in the Y axis just so it follows the angle much better. Like that. So you can see what we have going on. Quite nice very nice actually alright so all I want to do is to take that one again let me get to the side and let's take both of them I want to press shift in and D and then Y I want to move this in the Y axis to there let's make sure it falls in the Y axis in the right position so that is about here I presume let's go down and let's see yeah so that is great. All that we have to do is to move it out, each and every single one of them, each and every one. So I'm going to press G and then X. And let's pull this out to about there. And let's go down to this point. Let's deselect this one for now. All right. And let's only select the one up there and get into wireframe. Deselect all of this. Let's only go to the one up here. Oh, we forgot to duplicate the bar behind it. Well, that isn't any big of a problem, so we can fix that easily. Let's just pull this in a little bit more. Let me see. We have to rotate it in the y-axis a little bit. 
like that. And that should look quite good, I think. Now let's go back and duplicate that. I mean, let's bring that uh, this piece behind it, also over there. So just press Shift and D and then X, no, and then Y. And let's move this all the way here, and let's see. Let's pull it in the x-axis all the way to this point. Pull it in the y a little bit. Pull it in the x, and there we go. So that should look great. Now let's fix this one as well. Let me just take all of this. Let me zoom in. Let's take all of the one behind it as well. So let's see. We're gonna pull it in the x-axis a little bit out because you can see it's way too inside. I wanna rotate this in the y-axis to about there and let's move it in the Z axis a little bit just pull it up in the Z axis to there and let's pull it in the X axis out a little bit like that and there we go nice so that is looking good all that we have to do now is to take this let's press Ctrl and A and apply the location Ctrl and A and apply the rotation so let's add in a mirror modifier Let's move that above the subdivision, and that should duplicate it very nicely to the other side, like that. Now we just have to add it to the top here as well. So I'm going to take, I want to take both of these. I want to press Shift and ND, and then move it in the Z axis. I want to move it in the Y axis. Come on, move it in the Y axis. Let me get to the front view. I'm going to rotate this. Hold down Control and rotate it. Is it 90? Yeah, 90 degrees, like that. Let's go over to the top view. Let's position this very nicely over there, like that. I want to zoom into the side. I want to move it in the Z axis now, all the way down, like that. Just take a look at this. Rotate it in the Y axis a little bit, like that. I want to move it in the X, in the Y axis, back to about this point. Let me take a look. So we're going to rotate it in the Y axis a little bit more. Just take a look. Rotate it in the Y axis a little bit more. I'm going to pull this up in the Z axis and then in the Y just a little bit more. Like that. And as you can see, it's looking quite good. I'm going to move it in the X a little bit. Let me get to the top view. Okay, we have to move it to this point a little bit. And there we go. So that hinge is also in good place. You can see it's looking good. I think we have to put it on the back as well. You can see we have spaces for it. So let's get a view of the back real quick. I think we're going to use this one. Let's see how that looks over there. So this one is actually a more different type of uh, hinge. So we'll be making that in a completely different video because I think it will take some time to do. So we're not going to duplicate those hinges back there. We're gonna do that in a separate video and we'll just put those all of those objects together as one and we can give them the texture that they need. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.